let's put a new hard drive or SSD in your ThinkPad E15 laptop. All you'll need is a Phillips head screwdriver and some type of plastic prying tool like a credit card or a guitar pick. Your screws are collared, so that means they won't come all the way out. Once you get all your screws loosened, you can start undoing all the clips that go all the way around. It's actually super easy. Just start on this corner here, go all the way across, you're just slightly pushing in and sliding across. Do the same thing on this side. And then on this side, I should have actually started on the opposite side since it was already opened up from doing the other side. Once you go all the way around, the cover will just come right off. You can see here that all the screws are collared, so they don't actually come all the way out of the case and they won't fall out if you put it upside down. Just lift on the hard drive on the side that the SATA cable is on. This will just slide right out. This also supports an M.2 SSD, so you can either use that or a 2.5 inch SATA 3 SSD. While you're in here, you could also uh, replace your battery or install more RAM. Uh, this is where your wireless card is located and your USB port on the left hand side is its own separate board so you can replace that if needed as well. Getting the hard drive out of this little plastic caddy is super easy. You just need to take those two little stickers off. I kind of struggled with it because I wasn't sure if the whole shiny plastic came off of the hard drive or not. Uh, once those two stickers are off though, it should come off just as easily as this goes back together. Now just slide that in first, just like so, and then reconnect your SATA cable. Now you can put your cover back on, snap all your clips back in, and then tighten down your screws. It's really that easy. Now if you need to make a USB with Windows 10 or 11 on it, this is how you'll do it. Just Google Windows Media Creation Tool. Dude, you're going to scroll down, or actually just click there, go Windows 10 or Windows 11, download Tool Now. Go ahead and open that, click Yes. I should mention that if you don't have another computer, you should do this before taking your old hard drive out, if possible. You're going to want to put Windows 10 and 64-bit and make a USB flash drive. It needs to be at least 8 gigabytes. Go ahead and insert your flash drive. Refresh if needed. and your USB is being made.
Now just make sure the power is off to your PC, insert your flash drive, hit the power button, then spam F12 a couple times, and that'll take you into your boot menu. Go ahead and select your USB. In my case, it's the Lexar USB flash drive. And this will boot into Windows 11 or 10 installation. It may take a minute. Go ahead and select your language and time, hit next. Install now. It may take a little bit of time, just be patient. You can go ahead and click, I don't have a key, unless you have one to put in right now. I'll put a link in the description where to get one. They're not very expensive, probably 10 or $15. I'm going to do Windows 10 Pro. Go ahead and agree to the terms. You're going to select custom install and then select your new hard drive and click next. Go ahead and select where you live, and if you're doing Windows 11, uh, just go ahead and follow the prompt. should be very, very similar to this. Select your keyboard layout. If you want to add a second one, you can, or just skip. I'm going to skip this here and say I don't have internet just to make this process a little quicker, but you go ahead and set yours up how you'd like. Name your computer. And enter a password. And then I like to turn off the tailored experiences and the advertising ID. I'm also turning off Cortana, but you do as you please. And there's your fresh install. If this helped you out, please give me a like and a subscribe. That'll help me out. And enjoy your fresh computer. Thanks for watching, guys.